Uh, Boogie, we heard from a couple of players about your kind of speech after Furman went up seven on Saturday. What'd you say and what changed defensively after that? Oh, uh, yeah, just uh, kind of just lock in, be the defense we know uh, we are. And we weren't really showing it at that time. So it was just one of those, you know, lock in, just had to kind of snap us back in shape. And uh, I guess it worked after. So just one of those things that was needed. Boogie, you mentioned being locked in after that. What was it, though, you know, maybe from like a technique standpoint, some of the things that you guys were able to do well and what you guys hope to be able to carry that momentum into next week against uh, Athens, in Athens against Georgia? Um, uh, it might have just been a mentality, you know, with, with things like that. Everybody might have a, a different thing or, or something they might not be locked into. Or, or maybe one guy's doing great and the guy to the left or right of him isn't. So it just goes to everybody, myself included, and just, you know, do your job, know what you're supposed to do, and just go execute it, and everything's going to fall into place. For a guy like Drew Tuzama, who's trying to learn this defense really quickly, just what has that process looked like for him, for you guys as players, trying to kind of help him figure things out on such a short timeline? Yeah, I mean, just helping him through it, but he's actually learning it really well, really quick, you know. So it, we, uh, we all just got to kind of get around him, help him out whether it's on the field with quick adjustments or just getting in the and watching tape after or just getting in the playbook, whatever it is, just being there for him when he needs it. Y'all are under Beamer, I think, two and six in SEC road games. Just how tough can these atmospheres be and how much do you focus on trying to prepare yourself to get in there and get started quick in a tough environment? Yeah, um, I mean, going to the SEC road game is tough, but I feel like whether you travel or home, the technique should stay the same, the play should stay the same. I feel like a lot of times we've had some uh, some self-inflicted wounds in some of these games, and so we just got to go in there, focus on us, start fast, and just you know play the whole game, play four quarters. Yeah, but you're a local guy, man, so I'm sure you've seen the USC Georgia game pretty much your whole life. How important is it for you knowing this could be your last time going up against Georgia to go out and if not win, then at least have a really good showing? Yeah. Um, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for the game. It's always, you know, it's a it's a big SEC game, away game, road game. So uh, I'm excited. That's that's what I'll say. I'm excited. We got to see Mario Anderson get his first carries in, in a real game. So, did does he look like the guy he had in practice, or is like what what can you tell us about just what you've seen from him? You know, over the course of the off season, and I guess the other night as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of Mario Anderson. I mean, he's a guy who has a lot of college football experience, no matter the division, and he's done really well at that level. And so he came in, he's a, he's a fluid back, he knows what to do, he's playing hard. So I feel like the, the guy that we see, Mario, from the Furman game will only just improve and improve as, as uh, weeks go on and in practice he's even doing well. So I'm a big fan. Looking back at your first SEC game, what what were the impressions that were made upon you and let you know that, oh, I, I see what makes this so important and different and unique? Uh, probably one, the environment. You know, it's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of people, a lot of fans, uh, you know, all these lights you know, flashing, things going on. So you really just have to lock in on your job. You know, just speed of the game. You know, some teams are in hurry up, some teams are – are slow, but you know have different cadences or snap counts. So just really speed of the game and, and just focusing on what you got to do and just being prepared for it. Uh, these freshman offensive linemen, uh, Babalade, uh, Ball. What have you seen from them? Now they got into a game, but what are you seeing from them in practice, going against them every day? Yeah, I mean those are dudes who, even though they're they're playing right now and are doing good now, but they have so much potential as well. They're hard workers. They have great size. You know, it's like. I feel like the, the build you'd want for SEC O linemen. And so they, the sky's the limit for them, and they work hard, so they're going to be really good. Boogie, outside of those first three drives against Furman, what do you feel like you saw from this defense, what you liked, what you didn't like, and, and how much of it is replicable going on the road with competition ramping up? Uh, just making just making more uh, explosive plays, really. That's a, that's a big thing we have to do to win games, just have explosive plays. You know, have tackles for loss or sacks, whatever it may be. I think that's one thing we, we started in Furman, but we still have ways to go in that. So we just got to keep improving that. 
Thank you.